Hi friends, this is Puck. Today I'm installing a uh, Idena 10.5.7 on uh, the Compact. It's the C700 and I made some selections here. I just deleted Lion. Uh, we install, we, we select the Idena Essential uh, system, of course, that is selected. We choose for bootloader Chameleon V2, the fix ACPI SS2 fix and uh, the Apple SM BIOS I choose for SM BIOS MacBook I just like the name uh, SM, Bi SM BIOS Enabler and SM BIOS Resolver um, these are important if you use uh, with the original SM BIOS so we are using uh, Apple SM BIOS so we must choose these two uh, Firewire we will remove uh, just in case because we will not use it and just in case it will go and look for other drives that while well, it should not look there um iopc mci family this is a fix for the card bus and the sd sdhi drivers uh the usb uh fix i don't know if usb will not work so you know i cannot say at this time if it will or not work i have a fix for that if it doesn't work we continue the list real fast i don't know if i have too much space on my phone this is the ps2 fix old i choose that one um yeah this will ps2 fix the mouse and ps2 fix keyboard VD, Fudu PS2 controller remove and VD PS2 tri trackpad. I could also take that one, but I choose for these two. Um, Fudu battery manager selected. Uh, the Fudu power, I selected Fudu power Kex and generic CPU PM control. Um, for the kernel, I choose the speed step because the speed step is Intel AMD SS2 SS3 from Netcast. For speed step, if you use this kernel on AMD, you must on AMD CPU, you must select bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. Uh, and if you use it on SS2 CPU, you must select ACPI SS2 fix. So that's what I did. Uh, we go for the audio. The audio, I didn't really know what to choose there. Uh, so I just choose the Fudu HDA that will um, work for all HDA Azalea audio cards but not only for Azalea but for all audio cards that are HDA I know it's a HDA card I have in here um, we will choose for the chipset AC ACHX fixed and why did I choose that one well because it's the driver for Intel chipsets and this thing has an Intel chipset we continue the list and we see that uh, in Broadcom for the Ethernet I could choose the 440X that is great and I just discovered that this thing has the Atoros AR the AR5007 Wi-Fi uh, chip uh, so I don't need to install no RT driver and the Intel uh, graphic card is the GMAX3100 so then I have still for netbook I can choose everything in netbook uh, oh no 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 oh no of course not we don't select anything there and we look we did everything and we just hit done and we hit install and we're gonna cross our fingers that we made the right settings and we will see after this is installed if everything went well so that was it peeps uh, uh yeah i don't know if we uh, made the right choices but we will see and if uh, if so then the thing will boot and greet us with great music from uh, uncle steve and did it work well after the reboot when i removed the cd then it booted up Up to, until the part that you could like create the an account and then the screen would go black and then it would go blue again and then black and then would stay on black and then white black white black so I turned it off and I booted up by pressing F8 with the command um, dash X so 
it started up in safe mode and then I rebooted it and this is the result there she is she's running and up and I must say she runs really nice it's it's not warm at all just like uh, with the lion this machine is really cool and you can see uh, 1.73 gigahertz Intel Core Duo memory 2 gigabytes uh, but the Ateras did not work eh? the Ateras did not work the Ateras did not work so uh, I'm gonna install uh, the driver for my little Wi-Fi stick because I need to go on the internet and see if I can you know uh, find the driver for this Ateros card in this laptop giving me a hard time I really want this Wi-Fi to work I really want the airport to work that's why I choose to install this distribution okay we're mounting the image and there the image is mounted uh, you don't stick in the Wi-Fi stick yet you just open it and there you see the several versions 10.5 by the way the 10.6 also works for um, for lion so you guys that have lion or want to install lion on a laptop that has more uh, power than this one you know that will, will not turn so hot 80 degrees oh my god these are temperatures that can kill your machine man it can start burning yo man now it's really nice and cool i really like it okay now we have to restart and i'm gonna show you the restart real fast because i think the system boots really nice and the moment the screen turns off updating boot catches this is a very good sign Okay. and as a matter of fact uh, yeah we're filming live so no, may all look a little slow but you guys that watch my videos you know how I uh, how I make videos I like to keep it real So now we're gonna boot up and you will see that um, the screen before it goes to the desktop it will show that what it was showing when I did not start it up with dash X it would just not go to the desktop this is a real-time boot by the way 2 gigabyte eternal memory And now we get the blue screen and then we get the white screen again or not yeah you see the black screen and then I was like oh god we have it again and then we should get the screen ah you see that and the resolution of of the of the thingy is really good and you can see that um, the wireless uh, utility is starting up and there you have uh, my network so I'm gonna log in and then you know I'm gonna find the Ateros driver if I find it I might come back and if not then for now I want to say uh, thank you for watching I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something about the settings and please write the settings down um, because they are only in the video and I forgot what I choose so <coughs> to my next video Bye. I was getting uh, a kernel error if I was mounting a DMG file so uh, I installed I rebooted with the CD and then I uh, disabled all the things the, the, the installation package and then I installed the seat belt kex the seat belt kex is special for if you mount a DMG file let's say you download something and then it wants to mount to a DMG you know 
I mean, you download the DMG file and then it wants to mount it, then boom, you have to restart your computer. I got it two times already. I was downloading Firefox, I'm trying to, you know, make the system work. And uh, now I just uh, booted with the CD again, and then next, 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 and then went into the customization and then selected the seatbelt kex, and that's what it's doing. It's installing the seatbelt kex. So um, that is important, otherwise, you will have a crappy system.